press talk to each other. So I'm going to go through um, just an overview and hopefully help um, explain how the two work together. Um, so we're going to start and show it. So over on the left, you'll be able to see um, this section called blog templates. And you can see all of these little W's, which is the WordPress icon, um, that those are driven by WordPress, but they're designed in show it. So one way to think about the difference is show it is how everything looks with the blog and WordPress is where you do your creating. So for my blog, this is how it looks. And then you can see here, this is how my blog posts pull in. And you can tell that by going to um, the canvas over here on the right. And you can see that it's pulling in from WordPress. So we're just gonna go through the basics right now. Um, so you can see um, there are definitely a lot of sections that are just static. So just like you would build them and show it. And then there's some other ones that are pulling in. So you can see this section, for example, these are blog posts, but I just have them as st static content. So I just manually put in the images and linked them to these specific blog posts. Um, and then if you scroll up here, you can see latest on the blog. These are in post loop. So these are, this section is always updating with whatever new posts I create. And if you click on um, these text boxes, you can see this little black box pops up on these two. And that is basically saying these certain items are talking to WordPress. So you can see this is gonna pull in the post title and this is pulling in the category. And then for the image, if you click on that, and you go over to the right and click image, you can see that WordPress featured image is checked off. So again, that's how the images are talking to each other. So in show it in the preview, uh, in the editor, you can see that um, these are just text that I filled in and it, just an image I filled in. And if you preview it, it's gonna show the same thing. Now with show it, you have to be able to see the blog live in order to see what um, what it looks like. So in the editor, it looks like this, but if you go to my live website, you can see all of this looks the same, but then when we get to this section, this is where my blog posts are pulling in. So you can see that text over here, blog post title and the top category, are automatically being updated with whatever I have published in WordPress. Um, so one thing too is since this is um, separated by different canvas views, so you have your one here, two, three, again, these are just placeholders. You can see they're being filled in again with WordPress um, blog posts here. And that's just gonna keep repeating. Um, and then once I get to a certain number of blog posts, that's when this, um, when the next post, previous post will show up. But this is how um, Show It and WordPress talk to each other through these little tiny little categories here. Now, if I was going to click on a blog post, this is my live website now, and if I click on that, you can see this is the full blog post here. So you can see I have a lot of different headings, um, images, um, everything that is in my WordPress actual post is showing up here. Now, if you go into show it, go back to the site tab and then scroll down to this single post, you can see this is the same layout. So again, show it is the layout. So you can see this is just filler and it's tagged with this post content. So all of this is being filled in with everything I wrote within my blog post here. And I'll show you that on the WordPress side as well. This stuff is all filling in because of because of um, how it's set up here. So again, you have the date, the category, the title. This image is pulling in from the WordPress featured image. Um, so you can see it looks the same, but you won't be able to see anything in the show it editor or in preview. You'll only be able to see these live updates with your actual blog posts in your live website. So um, if you uh, have a WordPress post um, and you don't have a featured image selected, this is just going to be blank. Um, so that's something to keep in mind too. But 
Hopefully this helps um, kind of clear up any confusion you have about how Show It and WordPress work together.